Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the fourth episode of my Bazaar Only Adventures. Some of you probably already thought that I would never upload again because this video took so long. But listen, I have a great excuse. In the last episode I was able to buy the Raider Axe. And it's quite obvious that today we are gonna enchant it. But what are we gonna enchant it for? Yes, you guessed it right. To one hit salads. Eventually. But you see, if I want to do such thing, only enchanting the axe is not gonna be enough. So I had to do a lot of preparing for this video. And the most annoying and time-consuming thing I had to do was to get all the fairy souls. When I got the fairy souls for the first time over a year ago, I promised myself that I would never go through that pain again. But unluckily for me, if I ever want this profile to be good, it had to be done. So once again, I went to YouTube, searched up the fairy soul man, found out that he has 7k more subs than me. Subscribe right now so I can catch up to him. And started the good old NCS torture. Break your back to make me feel again. I know I could have used fey points or just muted the video, but I wanted to suffer as much as I can, so I will never even accidentally start a new profile. This was the last time I will ever do the fairy souls. It took me like two hours, but now I have all of them, except the ones from fishing and the end. This grappling hook I unlocked the other day helped out a lot. I also unlocked the tree capitator, so I no longer have the obsidian minions up, or the spider ones. Right now, I have the spruce minion for the wolf pet, Kane was for the speed talisman, I still have the redstone minions for the accessory bags, I kept the oak minion because I like him, I placed down a skeleton minion for the runan's bow, I still have the coal minion and the diamond minions, emerald is for the personal bank, and these two lapis minions are for today's video. There are two things in the lapis collection that will help out a lot with the enchanting of the axe. The grand experience bottle that I already unlocked and the experience potion that I will unlock right now. Let's start the enchanting by the redstone, glowstone and the other stuff. I'm also gonna make the grand experience bottles. Three should be enough for now, since I still have the one from fishing. Would be nice if I could craft this, but it's quite expensive and still really far away. The 15% boost from this potion should be enough for now. Now I just need to improve my enchanting room. Perfection. Now we will just drink this potion. I had to spend all my grand experience battles to get that level. Let's hope we get a good enchant. Okay, there we go. Sharpness 5. Let's hope we get something else as well. Ender Slayer or First Strike would be great. We got fire aspect and venomous. That is quite unfortunate. It doesn't matter that I got the fire aspect. It just would have been nicer if I got something actually useful. Now we need more grand experience bottles. Good thing I have a lot of lapis saved up. I wonder what level I need for first strike. Let's just see what we can get with 4 to 6. Actually, giant killer is pretty nice as well to have. It's a pretty useful enchant. Let's hope we get something good with it. Well, we didn't. We only got efficiency. Let's try again. Okay, there we go, we got first strike. And we got vampirism with it. Nice, that is two enchants in one. I still really want to get the Ender Slayer though. I'm just gonna use the normal bottles to get me up to 48. No need to waste a grand experience bottle for half a level. I'm pretty sure you can get Ender Slayer 5 with 48. I'm gonna try for like five minutes, and if I can't get it, then I'm gonna splash another grand experience bottle. Okay, this is taking too long. I'm just gonna splash another potion and try with 54. That took like 20 seconds. Sadly, we didn't get anything with it. I could craft a critical 5 book, but it would cost me 16 enchanted diamonds. So I'm just gonna use the enchanting table. No, it's a critical 4. Oh yeah, I totally forgot. I bought this lion pet from the traveling suit the other day. It was really cheap. But I forgot to spawn it. I missed out on some levels, but it doesn't matter that much. Oh, finally I got it. That took like at least 10 minutes to get. And I got another vampirism with it. Even though I hate enchanting, I think I will try to get the lifesteal as well. Let's hope this doesn't take as long as it took for the critical 5. Wish me luck. Later. I'm just gonna give up. I didn't find the lifesteal in 7 minutes. I'm just gonna take the scavenger. At least I'm gonna get some extra money. I would have been so happy if I saw lifesteal there as well. Now we just have to combine these to the weapon. But we will need more grand experience bottles for that. I have to drink another potion because the other two ran out already. Let's combine the Ender Slayer with the critical. 24. So 24 levels for that. That's only 15. Turns out that I need more grand experience bottles. 
Damn, enchanting level 11 and taming level 3. Let's see how much this costs. 82 levels, okay. Rest in peace, my money. Actually, before I add the book, I want to see the damage difference. So with only sharpness 5, I deal around 1.3k. And when we add the book, I deal 2581. So I doubled my damage. And that's with hardened diamond armor with no reforces. And I don't have the stats from the fairy souls yet. But let's reforce the weapon first. I'm happy with legendary or spicy. And we got legendary. It probably doesn't add that much damage. Actually it did quite a bit, like 300 I think. Now I'm gonna show you how useful the fairy souls are. As you can see, I haven't traded in a single one yet. These are my stats right now, then I trade them all in, and here is my stats after. There is a huge difference, especially in health. Let's go see how much more damage I deal. 3.5k, so like 600 damage for 2 hours of work. It's okay, I don't think we are one setting salads today. Not with Hard and Diamond. You know it's been too long since my last video when there was a cherry event this morning and it only happens every 5 days. But hey, easy money for me. Oh yeah, and I was wrong about the gift compass. It's actually pretty good because after the first time the gifts spawn in different locations, the more you know. I'm just gonna sell them now because they're actually worth more than they were last time. I'm just gonna go level up combat while those are selling. Might as well unlock a new minion while doing it. I might have forgot to buy the telekinesis. Way better. Might actually pick up the rods this time. I hate killing places. I just killed that place with my ender pearl and got the minion. Best at the game. Combat 11, one more level to go. I made 4k with my raider's axe, I'm just gonna use it to reforge my armor. Okay, that wasn't even close to enough. I'm just gonna take 40k and hopefully get at least one fierce piece. I got fierce to the helmet on the first try. Nice. Let's try to get more. Another piece? I'm actually getting quite lucky right now. Or maybe fierce is just really common. Yeah, it seems to be quite common. I was just really unlucky at the start. So now my armor actually gives me a lot of stats as well. Let's go see how much damage we deal now. 4.5k maybe? Nice. I guessed it right. Well, let's see if I can kill a ghoul, because they give you a lot of experience. I should be able to. They only have 2000 health, right? Oh yeah, I can. Okay, I'm just gonna level up here then. Doesn't matter what profile I'm on, I always end up here. It doesn't feel the same without the boss though. I guess I can't run away from the zombie slayer after all. I am so ready to die to the tier 1 boss. Maybe tier 2 will be more difficult. Permanent plus 2 health. Let's collect that instantly. Ooh, I'm gonna get a talisman from the level 2. If I can one hit the tier 1, I doubt I'm gonna die to the tier 2 one. Damn, that wasn't even the boss. The difference between tier 2 and tier 3 is actually huge. Tier 2 has like 20k HP when tier 3 has 750k. But I don't have to worry about tier 3s for a long time. I'm just gonna get my permanent 2 HP and then craft this talisman. For the first time ever I'm actually happy that Revenant Flesh is basically free. It's barely 100 coins for one stack. And now I can upgrade my zombie talisman to zombie ring. Let's also make the unique minion. I think I'm just gonna complete all the tier 2 slayers for the global experience boost. Doing slayers without the phone or even portals is so painful though. <laughs> tier 1 is such a joke. What are you gonna give to me? Permanent 1% crit damage and spider ring recipe. How do I craft it? I have to get the spider talisman first and then I can craft it into this one. Time for tier 2. If they sold travel scrolls in Bazaar I would probably buy them. Another 1% crit damage. Time to kill the dogs. Maybe I can get level 3 so I get the phone. Might take too long with tier 2 though, but we can try. What a scam, my level didn't even go up from that task. Talisman, please? No talisman, never lucky. Taming level 5. Don't kill me, Sven. Oh, it actually might. Well, that's embarrassing. I guess I have to use the water strat against the tier 2. Sweaty gamer hours. Didn't even get an overflux. A radiant orb recipe. That's like the best thing in the game. And the talisman, of course. Which is actually really cheap to craft. I have a decent amount of talismans now. I completed the harp the other day because this is literally the easiest epic talisman you can get. It took me like 20 minutes to get because the lobby was lagging a little bit, but normally it takes like 10 to 15 minutes. So if you don't have it yet, I recommend getting it as soon as you can. Obviously it's a bit harder with high ping, but my ping is 132 so it's not that great either. 
I also did the first few parts of the Romeo quest, so my ring of love is now uncommon. And I completed the race in under 32 seconds, I think. So I got this wolf paw and obviously bought the six talismans from the NPC. Stonks. Now that I completed the tier twos, I have 6% global combat experience buff. That's insane. 600k chilling in my bazaar. Gifts are so OP. 1.7 million. That's a lot of money, but it's still not enough for the armor set I want. But it is enough for 8 enchanted emeralds. Fine, I'm just gonna make a buy order then. I'm officially a noob now. It's so beautiful. Okay, we can finally go to the end. Oh my god, this is so exciting. End stone unlocked. 14k damage, let's go. Close enough. Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna one hit zealots today. I would pretty much have to double my damage. I'm just gonna unlock the minion and call it a day. These guys also give a lot of combat experience, so I'm gonna get closer to level 16, which I need for the dragon armor. Enderman minion level 1. Can I make it into level 2? Why are you mad at me? Leave me alone. No way. I actually got ender leggings. These are so good for end. I just have to reforge them. Oh, that only took like 3k. I'm just gonna enchant them as well since I have the levels. Crowd 5, let's go. It's so sad that you can't get Prot 5 and Crowd 5 in the same enchant anymore. It used to be so easy back in the day. Now I need to get another book to get the Prot. So without the Ender Leggings, I should deal 6.3k. Okay, so 6.4k almost, but with the Leggings... My damage went up by 700. I won't be needing these anymore. I just want to get more Ender Armor. Enderman minion level 3. Combat level 13. I didn't get more Ender Armor, but I'm gonna call it a day here. I probably have like 8 hours of footage for this video. Although most of it is just me getting fairy souls or clicking books or doing something else that doesn't really take that much time in the video. I hope you enjoyed. See you in the next one. <laughs>